It has been a little more than a year now since the city of Columbus started a new effort to bring violence down. It's the Office of Violence Prevention housed in City Hall. And leaders from the office were in Washington, D.C. this week. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Columbus with what they took away from that trip. Eric? Jen and Jared, the executive director and deputy director of Columbus's Office of Violence Prevention just got back from D.C. late last night. Since their office is relatively young, they say they were able to learn from other offices which have been around longer. This really is um, a very quick movement that is gaining traction really quickly across the nation. Columbus's Office of Violence Prevention was formed in March 2023. Its executive director, Rena Schack, says in 2020, there were 21 similar offices nationwide, and now there are 60. And that's the benefit of this, is that we're able to talk to different um, OVPs and offices that do this work who are more well-established. Shaq just met with some of those other offices of violence prevention at the White House. She says it was an opportunity to learn from similar sized cities with similar violence rates. The key to all of this is making sure that what we are implementing is right for our city. And so what we learn in um, being able to network with all of these other offices of violence prevention is just the little ways that they tweak these strategies or they tweak these methods to fit their cities. Since its creation, Shaq has said one of her office's main tasks is taking inventory of what anti-violence programs already exist in Columbus and their effectiveness. It'll be getting a hand in doing that. Also this week, City Council approved $150,000 for an OSU Research Center to help the Office of Violence Prevention with that work. It would be foolish, in my opinion, to have um, us doing so much work here in the community and not bringing in the experts who actually know what they're doing when it comes to measurement and analysis. And right now, Columbus's homicide numbers are down about 50% from this same time last year. Historically, violence picks up as the weather gets warmer. Coming up on NBC4 at 6, I'll share the message from the Office of Violence Prevention as we get closer to summer. Local for you, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.